Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. We're back in Ardwick Junction, which is the name of our zoo. And uh, things are going fairly well, we've still got nine grand in the bank. If we have a look at the total profit for this year, we are actually in the green, which is brilliant to say that we've only got uh, four not very brilliant exhibits. Uh, we've unlocked a little bit more research on the uh, on the two new things that we've got. Let's have a look, have we got anything new to put in layout? No. Uh, boa constrictor, yeah, lovely. Uh, in terms of nutrition, there's a way that you can change the food. I can't remember how you do it. We'll take the managed population, though. Uh, so maximum males one, because we don't want it to be overcrowded. So what we're going to do is we're going to prioritise appeal and keep the highest first. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Appeal, highest first, and anyone's will start in the trade centre that we don't need. Uh, same again for these, managed population. Oh, we've already got that. Appeal highs first, lovely. Uh, did we unlock anything extra? No, right, okie dokie. And again, we'll just nip down here. The exhibit's not brilliant on this, apparently. Where's the exhibit? Yeah, you see the layout. We uh, we need some more things in there. Again, manage population. Appeal highs first. Appeal highs first. Same down here. Again, their exhibit, it's not the best. We can manage that. Uh, we can get that better through research. Uh, appeal. Yeah, and appeal. Lovely. Right, so they're not going to become overcrowded, which is absolutely brilliant. Oh, it's night time. There, there doesn't seem to be a, a way you can click down here to, uh, to, to you know, change the time of day like you could on Planet Coaster. You could set it to, like, 10 a.m. so it's always light. Um, you know, it's all right, is this. Oh, look, thank you for your donation. Lovely. Oh, the money's going down. This isn't good. Why is the money going down? Oh, the boa constrictor has had a child. Excellent. Maybe child's not quite uh, the right word there. Yeah. If we, oh, hang on. We've unlocked some vet research. Boa constrictor. Is that is that is that you? You're the boa constrictor. Can we? No, we can't do anything. But the good news is as well uh, that we have got. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the good news is that we've got all the educational things down there. I don't know what the educational rating is. I'm sure there's a, uh, a way you can find out. Zoo overview. The reputation, one and a half star. Brilliant. Uh, guest education rating is zero. Okie dokie. Yep, so. Somebody did point out in the last episode in the comments section that you could hire an educator, and that's absolutely the case. If we nip into the staff lot, we've got uh, educators. We currently have no educators. Now, there is a reason for that, and that's because at this moment in time, I just don't think we're generating enough money to be able to afford to employ someone. Oh, the Amazonian centipede is fully researched, so we'll start with the death adder. Start researching that as well. Let's have a look. We've got, oh, look at that. Right, we'll have three of them. That is truly a cluttered exhibit, but the animal is loving it. Look at that layout. That is one happy centipede. Brilliant. Now, the money is still sort of going down a little bit. I don't, is it? Is it not? I don't know. I don't know. How are we doing in terms of staff training? Because the vendors could do with getting you more trained. And get the vet trained better as well. They can stay on three star for now. But yeah, the vendors, look, there's always a massive queue there. So if we, can, if we can get people processed a little bit quicker, please, guys. Now, in terms of animal trading, obviously it's going to be the big exhibits that are going to make us the money. So on the animal market, we've got an elephant. Okay, we want something a little bit exciting, don't we? But then can we afford exciting? Perhaps we need cheap and... Ooh, penguins. I mean, penguins. I love penguins, but they're going to cost a lot of money. So maybe penguins aren't quite the best way to go yet. Um, in terms of oh, aardvarks, they're expensive. I didn't realise the aardvark would be as expensive. Let's have a look by appeal. Right, so the highest appealing stuff you've got to use conservation credits for. Okay. Hippopotamus. Okay, so we could get grizzly bears. That costs a lot of money. And two males. We want them to be able to breed, don't we? Again, penguins, but that's going to cost a lot of money. The higher the appeal, the more money we're going to generate, but it will cost a lot of money, won't it? So, oh, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. What about some antelopes? I mean, that's a bronze one, and that's a silver one. How old are you? Two and a half or five years. Should we go with antelopes? I don't think that they're going to cost an awful lot of money to put in. So, yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll have some antelopes. Yep. 
Uh, animal storage. Yep, send them both to the quarantine. Uh, where's the quarantine? That's the trade center. Pop them across to the quarantine. Yep, there you go. Run in. I don't really get how it works with the research center. Have we got more than one? Yeah, we have got more than one research center. Have we got the mechanics working on research as well? Mechanic research? No, we haven't. Right, okay. Uh, what shall we use? Well, I think what we're going to have to do is research some barriers. Uh, first of all, because if we get the highest level of barriers, you get the transparent glass and everything. Uh, they're also a bit more... Let's have a look. So we get the gabion. Yeah, you see the, the one-way glass, not transparent glass. All glass is transparent, you imbecile. We could do with no rain as well. Um, you know, the, the rain is sort of <laughs> bringing everyone down. Ooh, vet research complete. Bow constrictor. Can we make you happier now? Look at that. There you go. Have some plants in there. Have a bit of logs. It's a happy boa. Right, so. I mean, we're going to put it here, I think. The, the first exhibit will be right here so that everyone can see it. Uh, barriers. Right, okay. Should we go with the chain link fence? I don't actually know what the... Uh, what is it that we've gone with? I can't remember the name of the flipping animal. It's an antelope, isn't it? So that's right at the top. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, antelope. Is not there. What have we bought, for goodness sake? Let's have a look what's in the quarantine centre. Yep. It's, uh, what are you? I have no idea what we've just bought. I'm sure we said antelope. Or is it a bearded antelope? I can never remember. You're probably there shouting, it's uh, whatever the antelope is. Uh, bearded antelope? No. That one. No, that doesn't look right. Is it a sable antelope? Oh, what, what have we unlocked? Oh, the death adder is better. Yeah, maybe it's the sable antelope. Yeah, you're looking a lot more like what I thought you were. So the barrier needs to be grade 2 more than 1.25. And what's your relationship with humans like? So I would use relationship with humans neutral. Right, okay, so we could use the chain link fence, couldn't we? Because we don't want to use the glass, really. I mean, resistance grade is more than 1.25. We haven't even got... Oh, we have got glass. Glass? Should we use glass here? We have a, a longer... Ooh, look at that. Maybe make that ten. Oh no, not null. Flipping out. We don't want them to be able to wander around wherever they go. Uh, right, we'll use... Should we use... We'll use chain link. Why would you use chain link? We'll, we'll use red brick. There we go. It'll be like... Uh, yeah, proper terrible zoo. You know, there'll be there'll be no natural kind of habitat about this at all. Right, there we go. We'll we'll have you coming round here. Maybe make you five meters in length. There we go. We'll bring you down here, and then we'll have. So we want the antelopes to have like a lot of space, don't we? Right, bring you back down to five meters. Okay, it's not the curve we want, but we could have a path going round the left here. So that could actually all end up being glass anyway. So, we'll put down here the uh, the door. Habitat gate. I mean, they, they don't seem to kind of mind what you use. It all seems the same. So we'll, we'll stick you on there. So the, uh, the chaps and chapettes that are looking after the animals can go in. Now, what do you... Uh, oh, you've both passed the quarantine. Lovely. What's this now? Zoo is low on cash. Yeah, I, I can see that. So, animals. Where are our antelopes? Yep. Move into there. Two of them, perhaps. That enclosure is massive for two antelopes. We're going to have to get rid of these trees as well. These are not antelope-friendly trees. These are stupidly European trees. Some might even say English trees. Or maybe you'll just go with deciduous trees. Now, what we do need to know, have we got enough power? We 
have enough power to cover the area, so that's good. Because what we need to do is uh, put facilities, put some facility bobs down. Throw the antelope there and up here. Now let's let's turn it round so it's facing the right way. It's right in front of the glass, of course, so that obviously people can't see through it. Now this chap's going to be fuming because he's just been put in a in a uh, in a place that's not where he wants to be. So uh, we need more short grass and we need more soil. I think is this this is long grass. So we need to give the lawn a mow. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll we'll just bit of that. Should we have the uh, the soil kind of around here? Like that. Oh, look at that! That antelope's loving life. And the soil come to about there, so people can still see it, but mainly there'll be uh, look at that nice short grass. Oh, now we've not got enough long grass. Right? Okay. We'll have the long grass in the corner here. Look at that. That's nice. Little patch. Okay, we need a hard shelter. Uh, so, habitat. And species, oh, we are running out of money. So, what we're going to do first, uh, the sable antelope. We're going to get some food, because if, if we can't feed the, uh, the sodding things, then they're going to die, aren't they? We'll put some water over here. I always like using this water fountain-y thing, because it never runs out. If you use a water bowl, they have to keep filling it up. The animals moan because they're hungry. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just sort of a stress you don't really need. We'll have the biggest shelter. There you go. Pop you in the corner so you can go for a lie down. Enrichment is obviously at non. Adult population. So we can have lots of these, uh, which is good because hopefully they're going to breed. Enrichment is down at zero. We've not researched anything, so I'm going to take one of the uh, one of the staff researchers. Where's vet research? I'm going to take you off the. Uh, oh, hang on. What's this? We've unlocked that. Right. Okay. So the death adder has been researched more. So we're going to take you off that. Pop you on the antelope. So research the antelope. We will have one researching like big animals and one researching little animals. So you need to be on the sable antelope there, as do you. There we go. And what we will do as well is put some uh, some donation boxes just right in front of the view. There we go. That'll do. Sling your money in there, please, folks. How's the keeper working in terms of... Oh, it's low on cash. Did I take out some loan? I think I did, didn't I? Oh, God. Right, okay. We're going to pay less. There you go. It's going to take longer, but we'll pay less in the hope we can generate a bit of cash. Hmm. It's a worry. Now, hang on. We did... Can we put more of the layout in there? No. Oh, and inspectors arriving in 22 months. So we've got zoo challenges. Let's have a look at what we actually need to do. I mean, we don't need to do it, but it gives you a nice little juicy bonus if uh, if you do. So if we have at least 300 guests in the zoo, gets us up to 200. Uh, we've got 203. We need 300 and we'll get a grand. Education. Increase the Amazonian giant centipede education rating to 4%. It's currently at zero. Uh, the reputation, two stars, and we'll get two grand. Okay, so we're, we're not really that close to anything here. I don't get, we've we've researched the centipede as much as possible. How's the education rating? Not more. I don't really get it. Surely we know everything we can know about the Amazonian giant centipede. Oh, we've done some research. The boa. Right, well, uh, can we put more things in the boa cage? No. What are we actually, you know when we're doing our research, what are we researching? Let's have a look at the boa constrictor. So, we're researching level 5 currently, but level 4 was a fun fact and breeding research. Right, okay, so, do we think they're more likely to breed? Now that, now that that's happened? I don't know. Let's have a look in the animal trading centre. Yeah, exhibit trading. Oh, wow! We've got a lot of things. Oh, no, that's not the storage, right. Okay. 
We're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna quick trade you. Yep, gone. Make a bit of cash. I mean, to be fair, we're actually the the money is climbing, isn't it? So the keeper needs to be more trained because the keeper's got a lot of stuff to do, hasn't haven't they? You know, the the keeper has to look after the the antelopes and all these four because we can't afford to pay more. Oh, hire more even. There we go. We'll train these guys more. Because again, you are like the money earners here. I don't know if there's a... Is there a quick way to find your in, uh, your, your income from that? Uh, income? From shop income? Yeah, you see, the income from the shops is keeping us afloat right now. Donations, obviously. And ticket sales. Maybe we can put the ticket sales up now. We've got some antelopes. Five and three. Let's try... Uh, £8 and £4. See what you make of that. Yeah, you see, the price is fair, the price is good. Nobody said the price is bad. You see, we, we need some sort of enrichment for these guys. I do kind of feel sorry for them. You, you don't look particularly unhappy. You don't look massively happy either, but... Is one of them... Yeah, right, you're a, a female, and you are a male. What does that mean? That's an alpha male. Ah, that's what that means. Of course, that's the alpha symbol, isn't it? Many guests think tickets are overpriced. Right, okay, well, we tried it. Tell you what, we'll, we'll pop it down to six and three. There we go. Ooh, there's some rubbish. Look, that's no good. Right, let's have uh, some bins. Pop a bin and a recycling bin, because they look good. Just buy the entrance. Yeah. They do seem quite happy looking at the antelopes, don't they? What What are you thinking? Can we, like, get a... You know, like, you could click on a roller coaster and see that... Oh, there you go. It looks bored. Yep, well, it is bored, because we need to research some enrichment. How are we doing with the vet research, do we know? Low on cash. Oh, it's a worry. It is a worry. Cash flow. Oh, no. But we are making profits, so, you know, that's good. Vet research is complete. Come on, let's let's be for the antelopes. No, it's for the boa. Okay, so you've finished researching the boa, so let's go back to the death adder. So we can now pop in the boa. Uh, we can pop the basking lamp. Have a high basking lamp. A low basking lamp and a mid basking lamp. So you can bask at all different kinds of altitude. So hopefully people see that boa and think, <laughs> he's a happy little chap. What can we do with this? The, the exhibit's not brilliant. Oh, this is the iguana. There we go. We'll increase that ever so slightly by putting some rocks in. Oh, pop that in. I always just shove them all in. Some people... You know, I've seen some people on the zoos that just put one or two in. I, I don't really get why you wouldn't just shove all three in. It, it does look cluttered. I'll give you that. It looks very cluttered. But, I mean, they don't complain, so... It just looks busy. It looks like they've got a lot of, uh, a lot of places. Oh, look, there's a snake there. Hello, snake. You can bask there, because there's a lamp. Where's the other snake? I don't really like being in here in case it jumps out at you. I know it wouldn't. Anyone see the other snake? No, I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's high up. Or maybe it's low down. Oh, it's there. There we are. Hello, snake. I don't know if it's Mr. Snake or Mrs. Snake or... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just call it Mr. Snake. There we go. Right, so, things are going good. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm sorry, little antelopes. We'll, uh, we, we will do something about your boredom soon. Should we maybe try and decorate it? I mean, I know that, like, terrain is good. They've got enough land area to navigate. But, like, if we go on Africa and grassland. Uh, right, nature. So I always like to use the, you know, so you get the right one. Grassland under the biome. And continent Africa. So we'll, we'll, like, shove a, a couple of little trees in. Like, maybe a... We'll shove a, a 
palm over there. You know, just keep it a little bit. Keep it a little bit exciting. What you can also do, and I didn't realise you could do this, is random rotation. So it'll, it'll just stick a sort of random rotation on that. Which is nice. Rose bush, stick a couple of them around there. What else have we got? Elephant grass strips. Oh, I like that tree. Let's take one there. It's sort of a bit more... Uh, oh, some nettles. I think there'd be nettles sort of around the edge where we've not... Uh, hang on, where are we? Nettles large. There'd be nettles down there, wouldn't there? Like, in the corners. Particularly, like, around the back of the enclosures. Like that, where perhaps we don't mow the lawn as much. But the antelopes might like the nettles. If we go down to this corner, again, nettles are often found in places. I mean, are, are you still happy now being here? You're not thinking that there's too much plantage? Plants 100%. Good. You're, uh, you're happy. Tickets are overpriced. No, tickets are not overpriced. Tickets are perfectly priced. Although it does appear less people are visiting our zoo, so that could be a problem. Hmm. See, it's sort of a difficult one, isn't it? We want to get more people in the park. In the zoo. Can we upgrade you now? See, the security guard's doing well. If we... Can we can we train the, ze the, the zets? The vets? How much is it going to cost? 500 quid. Get them trained, because then we can get some research done quicker. Oh, vet research is complete. Right, let's see. Can we make the antelope happier now? Antelope? Antelope. Uh, right, okay. Habitat? Sable antelope. What's this? So this is a grazing ball feeder. I have two of them. Stick another one over there. And I imagine your enrichment is 100% there. So we need some toys as well for them. But, you, you know, so long as you've got something to do, these guys are going to think you're happier and they're going to part with more money. Aren't they? That's, that's it. Let's just turn that up a little bit as well. Turn that up to 10. Turn that up to 10 as well. That'll do. We could probably actually duplicate another one of these guys in the middle. And then pop a, uh, yeah, duplicate. Put that there, but then we'll, we'll turn the, uh, nope, we won't turn the man down. The man is in the way. Move that. Can we, can we get that sort of middle? We, we can. So if we, if we shove you to there, there we go. It's a lot of boards, isn't it? See, it's one of them. The, the profit is good. The profit is good. If we speed it up a little bit. See, the profit's going up. There are less people in the zoo, though. Profit's going down now. People are leaving the zoo. Not as many are coming in. Right, okay. Let's do some emergency, popping that back to £5. There we go. All of a sudden, it's going back up again. Because, yeah... The, there might be less people in the zoo, but we want more people in, because then there'll be more people buying food. There'll be more people making donations. Oh, we need to call a mechanic. Uh, call the mechanic to sort that out. See, why are you all cluttered around there? There's all this viewing space here. Just come and look at that, rather than all standing together. Bizarre. You see, it's still saying we're low on cash. Vet research is complete. Right, what have we got? The death adder and the antelope. Right, let's uh, let's look at the death adder. Have we unlocked more? Oh, we have. The death adder is nearly uh, nearly full. Right, there we go. Camouflage. Stick a bit of that in. See, he's happy with his exhibit now, isn't he? And she, because there's two of them. Look at that. He's happy. I mean, you've completely missed the, the feeding ball there, chum. Oh, because the, the ball should be on there. I get you. Look at that. Go and hit that about. 
Ah, I wondered what these piles of things were. So when they hit them, the hay falls out. Clever. He's now going to top that one up. Tenfai Hoffo. There you go. He? She? Who is it? Rosalind Lockwood. Yeah, look at that. He's straight across. Zaid. Yeah, your enrichment could be more, couldn't it? We're working on it, Zaid. Don't panic, love. What have we got in here? Low on cash. That's going to keep telling me I'm low on cash, isn't it? Let's speed it up again. Try and, uh, try and get some of those finances up. bit more vet research. Sable antelope. Right, have we unlocked some sort of habitat feeder? Ooh, a grab ball. We'll stick that there. And a herb enrichment doodah. Now he's happy. Look at that. Enrichment 100%. That's awesome. I like that. You've, you've taken it over there. Oh, you've put it in the put it in the water. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for that. I mean, to be fair, it's only like what our parrots do at home. Everything goes in the water, whether it be feathers that have fallen out, whether it be food, whether it be, you know, everything goes in the water. Bits that they've torn off the ladders, because you know that's that's what we're working with here. There you go. And it appears you don't actually need to give any of them a pay rise, which is awesome. More vet research is complete. Mechanic research complete as well. Right, so you can now start researching the iguana, and then we'll have maximum research on all of our animals. Right, research is complete. Again. Oh, look at that. I don't know what we can actually research about the antelope now, because we've, we've got all the uh, visiting player disgruntled, gr disgruntled goat. Oh, I'm really pleased, because we're making money. We're, we're slowly making money. This seems a lot easier to make money than it does on Planet Coaster. I have to admit, if you're a Planet Coaster fan but do struggle with making money, uh, yeah, you, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy this. Oh, vet research complete again. Can we do something with the iguana? Because people were saying the exhibit. There we go. Up to sixty percent. Look at that. So if these guys are happy, that's all that really matters. Yeah, we can have some sort of path that comes down here, and then it can go... I mean, we've got so much space to play with when you actually look. I think, like, the, the antelope is more of a, an African deserty style doodah, isn't it? So, um, I think we'll probably have, like, the African animals, the safari style, style animals down here. So, like, we can move on to elephants and lions and tigers and whatnot. Look at that. We're just uh, the research is just coming in thick and fast. Can we have a bit more in your no we can't. Okay. There's an inspector. Oh we need to see the problem is with the mechanic business is because uh, they're researching, they're not walking round. I don't think they are anyway. They're not walking round doing as much maintenance checks. Oh the antelope is expecting offspring as well. Oh brilliant. We'll keep the uh oh Power source requires repair, right? Repair that, because if the zoo goes into darkness, we'll have a fit. Well, yeah, we will, and the, uh, I'm going to send the passengers, and the guests will as well. Have we got anything in the, oh, we've, right, we'll, uh, we could release it. How much are you going to, yeah, you see, we really could do with the money more than anything at this point. So we'll sell the animal, sell the iguana. The mechanic could do with the yeah, there we go, we fixed the glass. The centipedes had offspring, so there'll be another thing in exhibit trading. Wow! The centipede has had three centipedes. So we will sell the lot of you. You don't get a lot for releasing centipedes into the wild, so we'll sell them. And just like that, we've got four grand. That's that's absolutely brilliant. I do sort of want to see what the inspector uh has to say but I think that might be one for next time I also did uh, get it pointed out to me why we couldn't change the path in here uh, because if you actually have a look it is outside the building zone there you go 
so yeah, that's that's why you can't change the path in there. That's why in the last episode when I was messing about, that's that's why because it's outside our buildable zone. Can we do anything more with the iguana? Yeah, hey, we can. Wide mossy rock. And the layout is in the green. Right, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I really do hope that you have enjoyed that. This game is awesome and I'm loving it. Can you tell? Um, if you are also loving it, please do sling a like at the video. Uh, it's always appreciated by myself. And do, of course, remember uh, to subscribe if you haven't done already. Because it's the best way to make sure that you don't miss out on any future episodes. It's a fairly basic zoo, but I think with a little bit of decoration, we can make this a really, really pretty place. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.